For us, it's really underlining the fact that uh, a good uh, consequence of good software is good community. Um, hi, my name is Natalie and I look after open source engineering for Wayfair and I'm based in Berlin, Germany. Open source at Wayfair is something that's rather new for us in terms of uh, capability that we're really focusing on. Um, and for us, it's really underlining the fact that uh, a good uh, consequence of good software is good community. So what we want to really do is making sure that we're focusing on that community aspect around open source. Uh, and on top of that, the best practices around open source that we want to actually push forward in our current work in engineering, which is around decoupling um, and moving more towards a service-based architecture in our entire engineering organization. It is something that uh, is probably a long time coming uh, and, and something that uh, is really exciting now because uh, open source is more thriving and more, uh, let's say, community driven at the moment than ever. And so it's a really great time for Wayfair to be involved, more so, other than just using open source, which is something that we've done previously a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of benefits around open source for us in Wayfair. Uh, the first is obviously that community aspect where not only are we giving back a lot of uh, resources and code that we currently already use from the community, but it's also about being able to uh, jump into that talent pool um, and get a lot more feedback and information about the work that we're currently doing and contributing to. And so coming out of that Wayfair bubble to understand what other best practices are out there that we are maybe not utilizing well or are utilizing to the best of our ability. Uh, and so that's really great to be able to get that feedback from outside of the organization. Um, another big uh, advantage of open source specifically is being able to drive the narrative that we want in the certain kind of products that we want to be using and actually amplifying. Uh, so with that being the case, if we're using certain open source software, uh, that, that's really um, information for others to know that we really believe in this software and we are looking to either maybe contribute or just heavily invest so that we're um, maximizing the potential of what that software can bring for others that want to use it. Uh, and I guess the third thing that seemingly is somewhat obvious sometimes is hiring. Uh, it's something that uh, we at Wayfair really understand that uh, the more that we do open source, the more that we're opening ourselves up to a lot more diverse talent out there um, in, the, in the general ecosystem. Uh, and not just in Europe either, but actually all over the world. At the moment, Wayfair is a contributor back to a couple of really exciting projects. One of the first ones that we contribute back to quite a lot of um, is LinkedIn's Brooklyn. Um, and this is coming out of our big data and messaging uh, group in our infrastructure and platforms uh, organization. Um, and this is something that we've uh, had a lot of really great success with in terms of being um, top line contributors um, next to a company like LinkedIn, which is really great. Um, and then uh, something that's even more exciting for us is actually creating our own open source. And this is something that we've done with Tremor, which is an event based, which is an event -based uh, uh, messaging system that for us has been something that has replaced other uh, software that we've used internally at Wayfair, like Telegraph and Logstash, um, which are other open source actual uh, services. But this has been able to uh, highly accelerate what we've been able to do and achieve in that space. Um, and the other big exciting thing about Tremor specifically is that um, just recently it was announced that it's become a sandbox project of the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, uh, which is super, super exciting because it shows us that not only is that investment worth it in open source, but it's going to be worth it for a lot more companies to see what we're getting up to, what we're building and what we're actually capable of in this space. There's a lot of different initiatives that we try and, and push internally at Wayfair to get collaboration going around open source. Um, one example is the Digital Ocean uh, sponsored event called Hacktoberfest, which runs through the month of October, where uh, folks are generally encouraged, specifically new folks to open source, to contribute in any way possible uh, to different projects that are out there. And project maintainers are actually also uh, encouraged to tag and label their uh, different issues and PRs that they want attention on so they can actually get that help from the community. Community. So it's a really big community drive to get more involvement in open source. Uh, so our strategy is focused on uh, really three key areas and it's all about enabling open collaboration and open communication. So what we want to do is make sure that we're building a lot of resources, that we're supporting communities and that we're overall supporting this open collaboration model that we're trying to push through open source. Uh, and what that means is that it's going to help us improve developer productivity. It's also going to push the narrative into the different product spaces that we want to be highlighting. And it's also going to be helping us generally uh, get a lot of that tech credibility that we believe that we have and, uh, and are more afforded through open source software, as well as hiring more folks as well. And so with that, with that strategy, we're really looking to make sure that we're highlighting projects we create, but specifically also projects that we want to 
contribute to upstream so that we are showing that on top of using a lot of open source like Docker, Kubernetes, Aerospike, TensorFlow, that we want to actually also be contributing to other projects that have been really meaningful for us at Wayfair, such as LinkedIn's Brooklyn, such as Tremor, which is our own homegrown open source software, um, and a wealth of other different projects and libraries and services that we're currently using.